So we're going to kind of find out what all that means. As a journalism instructor, Mark Zaromsky teaches his students about facts. We never take somebody's word for something, we always confirm it. That's why questions of faith have always been tricky. How can we confirm that there's a heaven, let alone how can we confirm that our loved ones can send us messages? Yet that's what he's come to believe after suffering tremendous loss. You never get through it, you're always going through it. Zaromsky lost his 16-year-old daughter Kate in a car crash in 2007. You know, you're in shock for the first X amount of time, and then you're in pain, just mind-numbing pain. To ease that pain, he sought out those who could truly empathize. Hi. Like Sandy Dodens. She lost her 17-year-old daughter, Nikki, in a car crash three years earlier, and he still remembers what she told him at their first meeting. You said, I believe that God and Nikki send me signs mm -hmm. that Nikki's okay, and Kate will send them to you also, but you have to believe. Signs they've come to call God winks. It's a coincidence that's too much of a coincidence to be a coincidence. For instance, when Nikki and her friend vacationed together in Florida two years before Nikki's death, they went parasailing. And all of a sudden the girls look down and they see a whale, so they thought. The whale was really just the shadow of the parasail. When they came back and we all razzed them forever. But when the family went back to that same vacation spot the month after Nikki died, the most unusual thing happened. For the first time in decades, two North Atlantic right whales, a most endangered species, really were in the bay, caught on camera and in the local paper. Open it and here's a picture of the whale and they were right in front of our hotel. That story got Zaromsky wondering if there were other Godwinks like it. Dodens told him about Joy Cranky's son, James, who died in a car crash in 1992. She believed in heaven. She believed James was in heaven. But you need to feel it, you know, and just please tell me he's, he's okay. The first Christmas after James died, his family decided to road trip far away from Wisconsin. As they drove along a desolate Nevada highway, James's brother felt compelled to suddenly stop. They parked, they walked down the path to this overlook, the scenic overlook down in the valley, and there's this stone retaining wall and spray painted on there in huge letters, James is fine. Zaromsky has found his own Godwink from Kate. Moments later, Lindsay will be... It's in this miracle three-pointer her friend sank, helping her Grafton team to make it to and eventually win state that year. She knew it was a bad shot. She said, I don't know why I shot that. I caught the ball, I don't know why I shot it. Something made me shoot it. And I thought, yeah, Kate did. Mm -hmm. She was sitting on your shoulder, because I asked her to. I tape record these, and then I transcribe them. Zaromsky gets such comfort from these stories, he's decided to search for more examples and write a book. So I want to reach the me's. I want to reach the people who aren't strong like Sandy, mm -hmm. and um, need this to start believing again. Believing in something that can't be confirmed, but to this journalist is undeniably real. Now, if you've experienced a similar God wink, Zaromsky would like to hear from you as he compiles stories for his book. You can connect with him by going to the God wink story on WISN.com and on our 12 News app.